What's up guys, Quasnik Pictures here from New Zealand and today we're going to be taking a look at my camera setups which I use to film music videos with. So let's take a look. So my main camera setup is the Lumix S1 and it has a bunch of accessories around it, so I'll go over that very soon. And over here we have the Lumix GH5, which is more of a B cam, uh, camera that we use for behind the scenes. And I'm also using the Lumix S5 right now to film this video. Probably in the future I'll have a Lumix S5 kitted out in a similar way that my GH5 and the Lumix S1 is. All right, so first of all, taking a look at my Lumix S1, the main setup. Uh, we have a bunch of accessories around it, um, but the main kind of structure of the rig is a cage from Aitzen. And I actually have quite a bunch of accessories from Aitzen, um, including the handle, um, a cage for the camera, of course, but also a monitor holder, which is really cool. You can really quickly and easily uh, take the monitor off. Um, basically, you just slide it off. So switching from handheld setup to a gimbal setup is really easy, so I'll show that to you very soon. Over here we have another cage from Aitzen, and this cage is especially made for the Animos Ninja 5, which is really cool because, first of all, I can mount extra things uh, to the top because it has extra mounting screws, but also I can mount stuff to the bottom. And at the moment, I have the Hollyland video transmitter mounted with a little arm down to the bottom of the cage, which is really handy because when I take the monitor out, I take it out together with the transmitter. And when you're filming a music video for the entire day, you're changing from handheld to gimbal, from gimbal to handheld at least 30 times, if not more. So this is basically a cool little trick to quickly change setups from gimbal to handheld. We are using Hollyland transmitters on most of our music video shoots. They are really handy because we can stream what we are filming to other monitors and have preview for the director, crew, and the client. And of course, my main monitor setup is the Atomos Ninja 5. Um, I really like its features and what it has to offer. Most of my projects I do record on the camera, but if I do have a high quality video that I need to make, um, I can always pop in an SSD drive and record high quality ProRes files straight onto the Ninja 5. And another great thing about the Ninja 5 is that if I want to use it with my Lumix S5, um, I can actually get 5.9K raw video output. And that's just amazing that you can get raw video output from such a tiny Lumix S5 camera uh, paired with this monitor beast. So if you want a future proof your setup, I can definitely recommend you the Ninja 5. And both the Ninja and Shinobi have a lot of cool features built into them, uh, which I use quite a lot. And the main one is LUTs. Um, LUTs are very cool to have, you know, a preview of what the footage might look like after the color grading. Another one is having the ability to having bars on top and bottom, so if you're cropping the image, you'll be able to see the framing. And another thing is having false color. That's especially really handy, for example, if you're lighting a space like this and you want to get an even spread of light across the entire studio, you can use false color to show you the differences in exposure. So that's a really handy feature. I've used a bunch on studio shoots and also has a bunch of other features such as zebras, focus peaking. So if you're using a camera that doesn't have those features, this would be a really cool choice. And last but not least, we have the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens. And this lens pretty much stays on this camera for most of the time. And the second lens I use quite a lot is the 15 millimeter f 1.4 from Sigma. That just gives you the next level bokeh on this full frame camera. So that's kind of my main setup for shooting music videos. And here we have the Lumix GH5. It's paired together with the Sigma 1835 f1.8 and it pretty much becomes an f1.2 lens when it's paired together with the Viltrux adapter. So that makes this lens the best one for the Micro Four Thirds setup. So I have the Aitzen cage on this camera as well. Um, it feels pretty good, gives me more mounting options. So I have the handle on the left side and the same monitor holder as the Lumix S1. So that basically means I can switch the monitors around um, it's just cool to have the same system uh, on both setups. So for the Lumix GH5, I am using the Atomos Shinobi monitor. 
And the main difference between the Shinobi and the Ninja 5 is that Ninja 5 has the ability to record, for example, 5.9K roll with the Lumix S5. The Shinobi doesn't have an SSD drive, so it is just a monitor. Um, but in some circumstances, I do like the Shinobi a lot more. That's because it is silent and the Ninja 5 does have a fan built inside of it, um, which it does need to keep it cool. And that's why I usually use my Shinobi uh, when I'm filming this kind of videos. For all my other projects, such as music videos where you're not really capturing sound, the Ninja 5 is perfect. Plus it gives you the option of recording high quality files straight onto an SSD drive. So that's pretty much it for the handheld setups. Let me now show you how quick and easy it is to mount and kind of disassemble this setup and put it onto a gimbal. All right, so here we have the Crane 2S, which is the main gimbal I have been using recently. And first thing we need to do is just slide the monitor off the nature rail. And next thing is take the side handle off. So we screw in the monitor to the digital photo mount and we take the camera, clip it on, lock it in, and it's pretty much ready to go. If you balance this gimbal, uh, together with the same lens, then you're basically ready to go and that's because I am using these quick release plates and they're not the sliding type. If you use the sliding type of plates, those will slide and throw off the balance. But because I'm using the photography plates, I can just lock it in and it's balanced straight away, which is something I really like. And also the mount can allow me to twist it. So if I'm doing some low shots, I can literally just push the monitor down, push it up it's really easy to change the setup. So I think this entire setup is really cool because when you combine the awesome image quality sensor from the Lumix S1 and the high quality recording of the Atomos Ninja 5, it is a really great setup for high quality productions. If you're a running gun filmmaker, it's a very cool setup because you can change all these little elements so quickly into handheld and gimbal setups. So yeah, let me know down below what you think about my camera setup. And if you guys have a very cool camera setup, make sure you send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to see it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.